everybody. Welcome to Teens to Baby Boomers, workout number six. We're going to start with our warm up. Again, everything is going to be 30 seconds, and we're going to go four different exercises. We got our water, we have our mat ready. Here we go. All right, our first one is going to be side shuffles. So we're going to sidestep for beginners. You can do two if you have the room. If you only have a small space, you can just do one step. Two gets a little bit more hip motion, a little bit more movement, and we can always balance it. Make it a little bit more challenging. We're getting that heart rate to come up. Right now we're at about a five, working up towards a six. Keep those legs moving, chest is up tall, arms are going nice and wide. Moving that upper body with the lower body. Keep breathing. A couple more. And we're going to go down on our mat into shoulder touches. So we're going to be in push up position. You can be on your knees or on your toes. Legs are back behind us. So knees are going to be easier. Have your feet up. Toes are going to be harder. We're going to touch, touch, touch. 30 seconds. Really touching the shoulder, warming the upper body. Keep your eyes in front of your hands. Try to keep our body forward. Try not to get our hips up high. Keep them down nice and low. Warming that body up. Got about 10 seconds left. Stand it back up. We're going to bring it to a high knee. So for beginners, you're just going to lift one knee up. More advanced, you can add the jump. Slow like this, or every leg. Really pump those arms forward. 30 seconds. Really reach those arms. Ten left. And let's switch to butt kicks to get those legs back behind us. Lean it forward a little bit. Drive those arms. Punch them a little bit quicker. Get them up there. Nice big arms. Punching them forward. Almost there. We're going to go through those four exercises again. And back to the first one. So we're going to sidestep. So two. Nice and big. Chest is a little tall. Add a bounce if you can. Keeping that chest up tall. On that scale of 1 to 10, we should be going up to about a 6 to 7. Breathing, our heart rate's increasing. Breathing a little bit faster, a little bit harder. And let's switch and go down on our mat. Again, hands down, legs are back, shoulder touches, 30 seconds. Keep tapping. Try to keep the eyes in front of our hands. Try to keep our hips down low. Touch, 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 touch. Eyes in front. Looking good. Breathing. Almost done. We got about five, four, three, two, and one. Stand it up. Bring it to high knees. So really, really high. Get those knees up at a small bounce or a nice quick one. Pumping those arms really fast. Want to try to get to a seven to eight by the time we're done with our warm up. Get those knees up a little bit higher. And then let's switch to butt kicks. Legs back behind us. A little faster. Again, punching those arms. Reaching forward. Reach, 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 reach. Breathing heavily. Five seconds left. And relax. Breathe it out. Feet nice and wide. 
into our workout. A little dynamic stretching, side to side, really reaching. And relax. Grab the knee, pull up to your chest, lean up forward slightly, alternating, holding for about two to three seconds. Grab that ankle so you feel more in that hip as you pull it back here in the glutes. You guys have made it all the way to week six. You're doing great. The workouts are getting a little bit more challenging. The exercises are a little bit more intense, but you can do it. Big quad stretch right here. Grab the leg, pull it back behind us. And arms up, nice big breath in. And exhale, come down. Come back up one more time, big breath in. And exhale, come down. Grab a quick drink of water. And let's get ready to do our first circuit. All right, you're on to workout number six. So we're gonna go through the exercises nice and quick. This is gonna be 30 seconds for each exercise, a 10 second break. This time we have four exercises in each circuit. Our first one is going to be um, a power jack. So just like a jumping jack, so you can modify it if you need to. Arms up nice and tall. Otherwise we're gonna go down and up, down and up. Really big, using those hips, using those legs. Getting those legs nice and wide. Number two is going to be a burpee. We've done these before, but we're going to go a little bit faster. Arms up, step back, come back up. Beginner level, more advanced, is going to be the jump. Up as high as you can. Number three, we're going to be down on our mat. So it's going to be like a mountain climber, but you're going to have one leg come to the outside. So beginner, on your knee, five on one leg. Switch, five on the other leg. More advanced, really getting that knee up as wide as you can, switching after five, going the other way. And we have two arm exercises in a row, that inverted push-up. So now we're going to use our back. Feet are up, a little bit easier, have your legs wider, tuck your head down, push yourself down as far as you can. More advanced, feet together, get them straight. And you can also prop them up on a chair or prop them up against the wall. All right, here we go. 30 seconds of each exercise. Straddle jack is first. Ready? Let's go. So jack, advanced, add the jump. Beginner, you can modify it by getting that leg out. Nice and wide. Chest is up tall. Belly is nice and tight. Big jack, quicker. Up, up, up. Heart rate's coming up. Ten left. Big arms. As big as you can go. Knees are not over the tips of our toes. We're going to go right um, into our burpee. Arms are up. We got a break still. Here we go. Step down nice and easy for beginners. More advanced. Let's jump this as high as we can. All right, coming up. Let's get a one to ten. Get to an eight. Ten left. Almost there. And relax. Next one is going to be on our back. Breathe. The heart rate is up. On your knees. 
let's get ready for our power jack. Breathe. This break goes really quick. Catch your breath. Arms up. Modified version. Here we go. Up. Tummy's up tall. Chest is tall. Nice and big. I got you. Big arms. Legs nice and wide. I'm trying to get a 90 degree bend in those knees. Hands meet at the top. Head left. All done. Relax. Let's go down onto our mat. Get ready for our burpees. So what we do on a push up position, really try to jump those feet back behind us. Here we go. In your reverse direction, jump those feet back. Arms up as high as you go. You get tired halfway through. Beginner, step, step, step in, stand tall, 10 seconds left. Scoot me and swaddle, then get three in. Good, relax, I'm back down on your mat. Ready to use that loop arms and your core. Let's start in man straight away. On those toes, knees up to the side. My hands are in line with my head. Breathing. Tummy is tucked in. My hips are not up tall. So nice and flat. Try to make a board with your body. Ten seconds. Keep breathing. All good. Relax. Shake those arms up. Get a 30 second break after this one. So we need to make sure that our arms are down. Let's get ready. Here we go. Looking back behind you. Make it a little bit harder. Let's get those feet together. Let's get those legs straight. Your heels are not on the floor. My head is really tucked back. Really using my upper back. Exhaling as I push up. Ten, five. Four, three, two, and one. Relax. 30 second break. Catch your breath. We got one more time through. Let's go a little bit faster. Really get that heart rate up on these. Work as hard as we can. Let's stand it up. Get ready for our straddle jack. Little power jack. Feet are wide. Even if you're doing beginner level. Bend as low as you can. You don't have to jump. Arms, get them as high as you can together. Almost ready? And here we go. Down and up. Down and up. Big. Keep those arms above your head. Make it more challenging. Don't bring them in front of your face. Keep them up here. Tummies in. Hips are back. My knees aren't forward. Get them back. Belly's tucked in. Ten left. This hand above your head. Five, four, three, two, and one. Breathe, burpee, quick as you can. Get that heart rate seven to eight level. Take those extra breaths. Arms up. Here we go. Really reach. When you're coming down. I want you to put those hands right underneath those shoulders. Head is in front of my hands. All good. Keep working hard. Relax. Back on our mat. Put shoe tie. We only got 10 seconds. Gotta move quickly. Advance up in those hands and toes. Really drive that knee to that elbow. Breathing, not holding our breath. Keep our head in line with our hands. Ten seconds. You guys are working hard. Starting to sweat. Three, two. One, relax, shake those arms out. Last one of the circuit. Hands on the mat. Let's really get our hips up nice and tall. Get them up tall if you need. Get them up on a 
more water. Take your time. Don't rush through this. And we're going to demonstrate the next one. So next one's going to be a squat shoulder press. Again, we've done this in the past. We're going to speed this up now. We really want that heart rate to get out there. We really want those legs to work. So I'm going to go sideways so you can see me feet shoulders apart. Arms are up. We're going to squat, press, squat, press. We added a high knee before. No high knee this time. Just squat, press. Beginners, half squat, more advanced. All the way down, full reach at the top. We want it as quick as we can. We can also add a jump if we're really advanced. Exercise number two. You're going to be jogging. So you're going to be jogging as quick as you can, getting those feet off the floor. Beginners, you can just stop. Exercise number three. We're going to be on our mats, so we're going to sit down here, feet down, hips are going to come up for beginners. Two feet on the floor, more advanced. We're going to have one leg up. We're going to switch every five, a little more challenge. Pick your toe off the floor so your heel is still down. And exercise number four, we're going to stand back up. We're really going to get that heart rate up again. We're going skiing. So, opposite arm, opposite leg. Sit back, sit back. Beginners, more dance. We're jumping. All right, four exercises, 30 seconds, 10 seconds in between, 30 second break after you do four before you repeat the circuit. All right, here we go. Squat, shoulder press. And down and up. Nice and quick. A little more advanced. Jump in. Nice and quick. Again, we want the chest up. We don't want to be bending down. Chest up, belly in. But keep those hips back so our knees are not over the tips of our toes. Reach. Reach. Ten left. Higher. Get up there. Almost done.
relax. We're going for that run again. Do you have space? Use it. If you have kids, let them chase you. Are you chasing them? Get a good workout in. Here we go. Step if you need to. Otherwise, we're running. I challenge you. Get your knees up. Bring them up a little bit. It's a little bit harder. Now let's go faster. Get those arms pumping. You can go sideways a little bit if you want to. Then you can go the other direction. It's up to you what you choose. Almost done. Let's go. Rest. On the next one. Back on our mat. Our bridges. Let's start with our heel down our toe up. Single leg. Five on each leg. Hips up as high as we can go. Really working on that hip strength. Helps with lower back issues. Helps keep that core nice and strong. We don't always just want to work our tummy. We want to work our whole entire core. Ten seconds. Hips up. Exhale as you push up. And relax. Stand back up. We're skiing. So our ski is opposite arm, opposite leg. Shake it out. Big breath in. Exhale. Here we go. Long. Let's make them long. Big. As big as you can. Let's go faster. As big, as fast as you can go. Pushing that body up. Ten. We're burning those calories. We're getting stronger every single step. Relax. 30 seconds. Water. Breathe. What number are you at? And our P scale. Six, seven, eight. Maybe eight and a half. Breathe. Don't worry, you're not that 10 level. If you were at that 10 level, you'd be like this. You're not there. Well, we're ready to go again. Our last set. Let's get it done with this circuit. Arms up. Here we go. We have a longer break after this one. So work hard. This is a hard set. Dad and jump. Up. Up. You can do this. Landing on the balls of your feet. You're landing soft. Your hips are tucked back behind you. Ten seconds. Up. Higher. Reach for the sky. Get up there. Three. Two. And one. Relax. Breathe. Get ready for run. Arms. Here we go. Step it out. Loosen it up. Bring it into a jog. Now let's go. If you want to, come forward. Go backwards. Come forward. Go backwards. If you have the space, use it. If you don't, bring those knees up. Stay one spot. Ten. Big arms. Faster. Relax. Back on that mat. How are we doing? Great. Heels down. If you're still at the beginning level, two feet on the floor. Progress to the next one if you can. One leg. Keep popping those hips up. Switching every five. Toes off the floor. Heel is down. Ten seconds. Keep breathing. Almost done. Relax. Stand it back up. We have our skis. Let me get a longer break. I know you've been working hard. Just push it. 30 seconds. Tell yourself, I can do anything for 30 seconds. Now let's go faster. Big arms. Long legs. Really get those arms pumping. 10 seconds. Exercises again, there's going to be four, 30 seconds long. 
break. After you've done all four, 30 second break before you repeat. Two more times. First one is going to be on your mat, a single leg at touch. So again, five on one leg, five on the other. This time, I'm going to grab the outside of my leg and I'm going to try to pull myself up a little bit. If this is the furthest you can go, that's okay. Eyes are up. Ideally, up, bottom of your shoe. That is your goal. All the way down, up, bottom of your shoe. After five, switch the other leg. Next, you're going to roll over onto your tummy. We're going to go Superman mountain climber. Five and five. So five, four, three, two, one. Beginner, hands by your shoulders, more advanced. Arms out front, up to a mountain climber. Beginners, just tap nice and slow. More advanced, five, count five on one leg. So five, four, three, two, one. Back on your tummy. Superman, keep going. Standing up, exercise number three is going to be lunge pulse. So, one leg is going to be forward. You ready to come down? So for this one, we're going to switch after 15 seconds. Arms are going to be up, but we're going to pulse up and down. Try to get that knee almost to the ground. More of a challenge when she gets really, really, really strong. You can add a little jump to it. After 15 seconds, switching legs. Number four, back on our mat. These are called knee ups. So we're going to start small, easier, legs straighter, harder, have those legs in. So you can start by just slowly coming up as far as you can. Make it a little bit more challenging, add one leg. Really challenging, two legs. Coming up. Those are your four exercises. So let's get ready for our single leg at touch. Five on one leg, five on the other, and we'll switch. All right, here we go. So up, try to touch the bottom of your shoe. Beginner, get as far as you can. If you want to challenge your body, get to the bottom of that shoe. Switch once you get to five. The inside of your leg is where you're touching the bottom of your shoe. Really look up to the ceiling. You're almost done. All right, over on your belly, Superman mountain climber. Flip it over. Again, part of the workout is changing positions. Easier, hand by those shoulders. Five, four, make it harder. Three, two, and one. Push your body up. Mountain climbers. Five, four, three, two, one. Back down. Go at your own speed. Try to pick up the pace. Ten left. Back down on your belly. Nice and big. And stand it up. The lunge pulses. 15 seconds, you're going to switch. So 15 one leg, 15 the other one. Arms are out. Here we go, one pulse in. Belly is in. My knee is making a 90 degree bend. Front and back. My knee is not on the tips of my toes. It's back, chest is up. And switch legs, we're halfway. Get down, pulse those legs. Chest is up top. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Almost there. And relax. All right, our next one here, the ups. Have a seat. Legs are out. Knees bent, make it a little easier when those legs come up. Here we go. One leg to start, alternating. If you're doing one, two, make it more challenging. Try to get in the rhythm. Once you get that rhythm, it's a lot easier. Ten seconds to bring your legs and your arms up. Exhale as you come up. All right, we get that 30 seconds. Let's go right. Get ready for our single leg at touch. Grab drink. Loosen up that body if you need to. Little twist. Loosen up your back. Stretch that core. Breathe. Nice big breath in. And exhale. Let's lay back. Let's get ready. One leg's up. One leg's back. 
Here we go. Up and touch. Up and touch. Get to the bottom of that shoe. Let's go faster. Your goal, if you want to count, try to get 20 in. It's going to be 10 total on each leg. Alternating every five. Eyes to the ceiling. Almost done. I'm telling you.
leaning it forward, nice deep stretch. Should feel like it's stretching, it should not be painful. If the stretch is painful, you need to back off a little bit. And we're going to come forward. Now I'm going to have that leg desk forward. The heel is going to be down, the toe is going to be up. I'm going to bend at the waist, and that's actually going to stretch my hamstring in the back. Bend that knee forward a little bit if you need to. We don't want to have it completely locked. And relax. Switch to the other side. One leg is forward. Lean into it. Again, switching that other hip flexor. So I'm looking forward. See what it looks like right here. Keep that chest up tall. Belly is in. If you're not feeling it, you can always put this foot forward to make it a deeper stretch. Now let's do our hamstring back here. Heel is down, toe is up. You can use the floor to help you balance. You can also use a wall and do this sideways. Lean forward at the waist, never lock our knee, have it slightly bent. Breathe in, catching your breath. And relax, good. So open those arms up since we're down, you're gonna scoot, nice, good arm stretch. One arm across our chest. Holding it, feeling it through that shoulder blade, upper back. Open them up, switch to the other side. Again, shoulder going through our upper back. Open them up, we're gonna go behind our head, give ourselves a pat on the back, triceps in the back. Really push that elbow, keep that chest up tall. And switch to the other side. Good. And relax, stand it up nice and tall, let's have those legs nice and wide. Really side bending your reach, stretching that core. Those burpees were a killer today. We're gonna stretch all of it out. And relax, open those arms up, nice big breath in. And exhale, 